Oh yeah. Not one, not two, but three reasons to get hyped. Oh, oh we have a terrible Reggie Feast of Me! OB1 plays. Yes, right. What's up? Alright. OB1 plays. everybody how are y'all doing before we get started with this video give it a thumbs up thumbs up let's get the video over 300 let's do 300 likes let's do it right now let's get right to the news now we have a couple of dope news items for this video the first one we all know last year was the 35th anniversary for Mario, Nintendo's top dog, their bread and butter. And what did they do? They did a couple of things. They had the 35th, uh, the 35 Mario Battle Royale game. They had the Mario Kart Live. And they also had Super Mario 3D All-Stars, Mario 64, Mario Sunshine, Mario Galaxy, all in one game. I say all that to say this. 2021 marks the 35th year anniversary not for one not for two but for three storied franchises for nintendo zelda is celebrating the 35th anniversary this year metroid is celebrating their 35th anniversary this year and kid Icarus is celebrating the 35th anniversary this year and you can expect, we can expect as Nintendo fans very soon to start getting some announcements from Nintendo as to what they're going to be doing, how they're going to be giving those games the Mario treatment and this is what we're more than likely going to be seeing this year on the Nintendo Switch. For Zelda, I think it's going to be pretty easy. Now, they're going to have a couple of other surprises. But the Wii U laid the groundwork. Why do I say that? On the Wii U, we already had two HD remasters. Zelda Twilight Princess and my favorite 3D Zelda game before Breath of the Wild, Wind Waker HD. This game refined some of the end game tingle quests. Uh, try for a shard quest that was so frustrating and the game looks gorgeous a timeless game because of the art style and so as a if we're gonna get the 3d all-star treatment you can expect this uh, Twilight Princess you can expect um, Wind Waker HD and many are saying Skyward Sword now we can get one or two I think it's either going to be Skyward Sword or The GOAT, the greatest video game of all time, Ocarina of Time. I'm actually leaning that we're probably going to get Ocarina of Time over Skyward Sword, maybe. Now, with the Joy-Cons, you can still do the whole Skyward Sword Um um fighting and and mechanics that that were in so notorious with the wii version of the game but what about dudes that want to just use the pro controller i think ocarina of time will be an easier port just the fact that they've already done the mario 64 um port nintendo has experience with <coughs> porting 64 games with the to the switch i think ocarina of time will be the three games coming this year for the 35th year Zelda anniversary. Now, Metroid is a lot easier. Metroid Prime Trilogy HD. Put it in HD and just give us the trilogy um, upscaled in HD. Booyah. 
Metroid Prime, Metroid Prime 2, Echoes, and Metroid Prime 3. What was the subtitle for Metroid Prime 3? I forget. But um, give us those three games. Easy, easy, easy. Upscale them to HD. I think that's going to be what they do for Metroid. The Dark Horse is Kid Icarus. What will they do for Kid Icarus? They don't have three huge Kid Icarus games. I think we already got the original one in the NES Online. So I'm thinking, and Kid Icarus isn't as popular as Zelda or Metroid. <coughs> so I'm thinking, just give us the 3DS game upscaled in HD for Kid Icarus or an all new Kid Icarus game. This game was a solid game. The flying stages, fantastic. The ground stages were plagued by the 3DS only having a left analog stick. Um, and so with the Pro Controller, I think the game would control better. But an all-new Kid Icarus game will be and would be a welcome addition. And so this year, 2021, we're having three 35th year, 35 year anniversaries for Nintendo, Zelda, Metroid, and Pit, Kid Icarus. That's why I think this year is going to be a big year. And Nintendo's going to have so much more in surprise for us as fans. you already seen a couple of the leaks. I've already talked about it in my previous videos. But those are dope. Speaking of Nintendo releases, today... Today, Hitman 3, the cloud version, has launched on the Nintendo Switch. What am I going to be doing? I'm going to be playing it on my gaming channel. On my gaming channel, you could download the, um, the cloud version, the app for this game for free, I believe, on the eShop to try it out to make sure your internet works. I'm interested to see how this game runs on the Switch. So I will be downloading it, trying it out on my gaming channel, along with I'm beating Paper Mario Origami King. So before I get on Paper Mario, I'm going to be trying out um, Hitman 3. Go check out Obi-Wan Plays Gaming Championship. And the next news item. This put a smile on my face, bro. Nintendo has confirmed a new Super Mario 3D World. For those of you that don't know, Captain Toad's Treasure Tracker originally was not a separate game. They got the idea and the concept for Captain Toad Treasure Tracker from the mini games in Super Mario 3D World. And they've confirmed the Captain Toad mini games in Super Mario 3D World will be co-op. Now this is what the tweet says. This is what the official tweet says. Did you know Super Mario 3D World was the first time Captain Toad was playable in his own mini adventures? Experience these courses in four player co-op in Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury. Now, this is my big question and I actually tweeted, retweeted this on Twitter. Make sure you follow me on Twitter at Obi-Wan Plays. They said co-op. Do they mean online multiplayer? or local co-op i'm thinking <coughs> just because it's the uk maybe some loss in translation the british english translation or british is english but you know what i mean american english that they meant online multiplayer because it'll be real weird all four y'all are playing the game together online and then you get to one of the um cat Toad mini games and three other people got to put down their controller and just watch one person play it. So I really think that is it is, in fact, online multiplayer. It would be a bit of a letdown if these mini games are not online when the final game comes out. But I'm leaning towards it will be online. But that's dope, dope, dope. Multiplayer has been confirmed for the Captain Toad mini games in Super Mario 3D World. Next news item, Dead Cells. Nintendo Switch Online members can play Dead Cells for free um, during a special game trial event starting January 26th. So in about a week's time, the game will be free for Nintendo Online members to try for about a week. It runs from January 26th 
to February 1st. So about five games you get to play this game for free. And low key, you could probably beat this game in five days. So you pretty much have the full game. If you want to just play the whole game, go ahead and beat it for free. For You get five days to play. Oh, but it says a special game trial event. So I don't know if it only goes to a certain amount of stages, but check out the game. The game was steeped in controversy with the whole, I think this is the game with the whole IGN plagiarism, but it helped the developer sell the units because it is a solid 2D um, 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 side-scrolling game. So go ahead and check that out. And the last news item for this video, speaking of Mario 35, the first Super Mario 35 World Count Challenge is currently in effect. It started on January 18th, two days ago, and it runs through January 25th. This is what the official tweet says. Team up with players around the world to defeat 3.5 million Bowsers. If achieved, all participating players defeating at least one Bowser get 350 my nintendo platinum points definitely going to participate in this get to at least i think world one four you defeat a bowser booyah you um get rewarded with 350 my nintendo platinum points and it's dope 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 that nintendo does stuff like this this is sort of like nintendo doing achievements you do these, these special events you get my player points. I'm um, in Nintendo Platinum points. All right, dudes. What do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, pro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things Nintendo. We out. Peace. You still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I got to hook you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice. Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter at ob one plays And that's it. You're in for the giveaway. But wait. There's more. Do you want to join an awesome gaming discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy? Become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash obi1plays. You'll thank me later. Also, check out the swag, bro. Links are in the description. I'll see you later.